Oh, man. Uh, hey, everyone. Yep, today's movie has a great title, and check it out. Sex Squatch, The Legend of Bloodstool Creek, brought to us by SRS Cinema, and it is written and directed by Chris Seaver, who's brought us great films as Taint Light and The Filthy McNasty, as well as Teen Ape. If you're familiar with those films, you know Chris Seaver's style. Now, Sex Squatch tells us the story of Joey Jeremiah, who is has aspiring uh, dreams of becoming the king of Hollywood and bringing back B films to some legitimacy and he's so engrossed in this he's always writing down in his book and unfortunately he's never gotten uh, to be intimate with a female well his friends decide to throw him an aptly named get laid party and they try to get him some action before he heads off to Hollywood well they get an un uninvited guest in the form of Sex Squatch who decides to dispatch people in his own beastly bestiality way it says that right there beastly be I, I love that I I love that. And uh, we see the things unfold from there in a humorous and horrific manner that only Chris Seaver can bring to us. Folks, if you're familiar with this writer and director, you know that his comedy is for select tastes. I'm going to tell you that now. While you may be a fan of independent film, if you don't like the vulgar humor, Sex Squatch may turn you off a little bit. But those who do like the vulgar humor, and especially the Chris Seaver style of horror comedy, then this is definitely up your alley and one of his better films, I think. Uh, the production value alone for this film looks great for a low-budget film. Audio is decent, and the story is actually well-written. It tells a solid story, and everybody in this film is just so behind this movie. You can tell. You can always tell when an actor's and uh, everybody's just so on board and having fun with the movie, and they do with this. But with the dialogue that you have in this film and the kind of humor you have, how could you not do anything but just have some fun with it, okay? Uh, you've got some great characters in here. You've got Skippy, who looks like Robert De Niro, okay? Got the facial expressions down pretty good and the voice isn't too bad either always looking for his donuts uh there's a great running gag throughout you've got uh the guy the lady playing joey's mom that character uh, she kind of looks like the milf from uh, uh you know from american pie only with very a lot more messier makeup okay and, and you know you've got also some great music in here as well you got uh, such bands as skank and pickle troglodyte and mu 330 bringing uh their own style of music that fits the film and this wild and zany ride that only chris siever can take you on okay uh you know the dialogue is is like a, a vulgar drunken Shakespeare's uh, liner notes. Okay, I mean it, they come at you one after another. Uh, so all these great interesting <laughs> metaphors he comes up for with uh, for intercourse as well as other bodily functions, and you know. But the characters are hilarious. It's one thing that I do enjoy about Chris Seaver's work. I may not always enjoy some of the humor in there. I can do without poop jokes, uh, but. I do love his characters. He's got some great character writing in here, and he does that well with Sex Squatch. He can't help but like Sex Squatch, even for the vulgar, nasty things he does. Uh, just the way he's presented and he talks, uh, you know, you, you just can't help but kind of like him uh, throughout the film. Folks, uh, Sex Squatch is not a comedy horror for everyone. I will tell you that right now. It is for select taste. It is for those who do like the underground cinema, the extreme uh, humor, as well as some extreme visuals in the film. Now, some of you may be disappointed that, yes, while it is a low-budget and rather vulgar humor movie, no one actually gets naked in this film, which may be a disappointment to some. I thought that was an interesting little twist to a film of this nature, but definitely, if you like the Chris Seaver films, if you like underground cinema, and if you like uh, of some vulgar humor, uh, then definitely check out Sex Squatch. It comes out on DVD March 26th. For your general viewing audience or those who aren't fans of the extreme uh, indie, the extreme underground films or the uh, you know vulgar humor, you may want to avoid Sex Squatch because you could get offended within the first five minutes of the film. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuff. Uh, beastly beach theology as it look well, I'm sound like I'm drunk I'm drunk I'm drunk lady uh, listen this this
I gotta do my nails. Alright, let's try again. 